we have an extraordinary and unusual large earthquake swarm striking off the coast of Oregon in Cascadia on the Juan de Fuca Plate, one of the worst areas for seismic activity. 16 earthquakes, the biggest being 5.8. And uh, we know that uh, this is part of the Pacific Plate, sub uh, submerging underneath the North American Plate. Juan de Fuca, the small tectonic microplate, generating from Juan de Fuca Ridge, subducting under the north northerly portion of western side of North American Plate at the Cascadia subduction zone. Let's take a look at the maps. And this is the activity, and uh, the red is the past hour. The biggest here is today's quake of, uh, not that one, sorry, not that one. 5.8, where's the 5.8? There it is, 5.8. All of them are about 10 kilometers depth. They're all 10 kilometers depth, even the recent ones. Okay, and uh, let's see if, how many people have felt that. USGS, four people felt it. And let's go into our tectonics and the contours. There we go, put them up and pull out a little bit and let's go to our topographic Cascade Range, Medford off there and um, Ariel, there you go. And uh, how many people live on that coast, part of the coast, population density? Okay, so this is a Juan de Fuca plate right there, as you can see right there. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. And uh, the quakes are ongoing, and they started today. Yesterday we had a three magnitude um, out on the east of Mount Baker but, um, in Washington, but this thing here is very unusual. Now Juan de Fuca, right here, Juan de Fuca, Blanco Fracture Zone, this is where they are. And let's go to our, not this one, it's the, okay. The Pacific Northwest, and this is the biggest quake here, 5.8, the last two hours, okay? The, the uh, size of Berkeley, the red is the last hour, but this one, these, these quakes are basically the last two hours, okay? 10 kilometers bit depth, about six miles down, and they're ongoing. All these are ongoing right here, okay? This one there, the 5.8. 4.3, 5.8, oh, there's two 5.8s. Okay, two of 5.8s. Okay, two 5.8s. And um, all this is today's activity. Okay, December 7th. All this is today's activity, 16 earthquakes, if not more. If not more. So something very strange is happening there. Uh, we do have underwater seamounts there and also methane volcanoes. The origins, Juan de Fuca plate system, has its origins with Panthalassia's ocean basin and crust. The ocean crust has primarily been subducted under the North American plate. The Juan de Fuca plate, bound by the south by Blanco Fracture Zone, as we saw before, running northwest off the coast of Oregon, right here. And on the north uh, by the Nukta Fault towards Vancouver and British Columbia. The Juan de Fuca plate is itself has since fractured into three pieces, and the name is applied to the entire plate in some references, but in others only to the central portion. Volcanism. This subduction plate system has formed the Cascadia Range of volcanoes right there. The Cascadia Range. There we go, one of them there and the Cascadia Volcanic Arc. 
right, and the Pacific Ranges, all these, along the west coast of North America and British Columbia and Canada, and Northern California, of course. And these, in turn, are the part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, a much larger, here we go, a much larger volcanic feature that extends around much of the Pacific Ring. There. Earthquakes. The last megathrust earthquake at the Cascadia subduction zone was in the year 1700, the Cascadia earthquake. That's what gave the uh, uh, orphan tsunami that went all the way to Japan. Now estimated to have a moment magnitude of 8.7 to 9.2 magnitude. Based on carbon dating of local tsunami deposits, it's inferred to have occurred around the year 1700. Evidence of this earthquake is also seen in ghost forests along the bank of the Copolis River in Washington. Right there. The rings of the dead trees indicate that they died around 1700, and it's believed that they were killed when the earthquake occurred and sank the ground beneath them, causing the trees to be flooded by salt water. Japanese records indicate that a tsunami occurred in Japan on January 26th, the year 1700, which was likely caused by this earthquake. In 2008, small earthquakes were observed within the Wandafuka plate. The unusual quake, quakes were described as more than 600 quakes over the past 10 days in the basin 150 miles southwest of Newport, and the quakes were unlike most quakes in that they did not follow the pattern of large quake, followed by small aftershocks, rather they were simply a continual deluge of small quakes. Furthermore, they did not occur on the tectonic plate boundary, but rather in the middle of the plate. The subterranean quakes were uh, detected on hydrophones. Okay, this is, uh, in this case here, these are not small quakes. And they're not in the middle of the plate, they're on the fracture zone. Okay, these are not small quakes. So, uh, this is, of course, small, but what about the two, we had two, well, this, these are the new ones, two 5.8s, 5.8 here, 5.8 here, this one here, that one there, and uh, they're still ongoing. The last one was 4.4. .4. So most of these earthquakes are today, are just in the past two hours. Let's get rid of this. Okay, this is PNSN, as you can see. Okay, the red is in the past two hours. So something very strange is going on there. Now, keep in mind, this is an area full of underwater seamounts. They're volcanoes, of course. We have the axial volcano. The axial volcano, where is it? Here it is, okay. Right there. Uh, the earthquakes that we had today are here, okay? But that's the axial volcano, right there. And uh, going back to the map, you have the Brown Bear Seamount, we have the Cobb Seamount, we have the Thompson Seamount, uh, Springfield Seamount, where's axial? Anyway, we saw it before, it's around there. All these, all these here are seamounts. Amelia Seamount, okay, these are all uh, underwater volcanoes, and it's not only there that we have them, we have them on the east coast as well, this thing here, uh, about 30, 30 of them there, all these here, about 30 underwater seamounts, volcanoes pointing towards Maine, which has uh, four, four volcanoes, in a, a one, five volcanoes, but four of them are in a 100 mile area ancient volcanoes. So uh, all of you there on the west coast, please be very careful. Uh, as we said before, we read on the uh, Juan de Fuca earthquake news that uh, the data that they were uh, quakes, the quakes of uh, small quakes. Well, these are not small quakes and they're not in the middle of the plate. They're on the fracture zone right there. So all of you there, please be very aware something is going on there. Let's keep that in mind and be alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.